Welcome into my kitchen. I'm Hema Kundarki. I'm here to share simple recipes which you can recreate in your kitchen. I use the ingredients and spices which are available in your local grocery stores and create healthy and tasty meals. Often I showcase Indian meals, home style Indian meals. Today I'm going to show Indian inspired meals. Jamaican bean stew, almond quinoa pilaf and tofu tikka sandwich. So grab a cup of tea, relax and sit back and enjoy the show. days everyone you talk to is on some diet cabbage soup diet grapefruit diet low fat diet low cal diet well I decided I'm gonna go on a diet too but I did not want to compromise with the taste and if you see the general equation for good food is it has extra fat sugar and salt so does that mean if you're on a diet a healthy diet that the, your taste buds take a vacation? Absolutely not. Here is where the spices and herbs come into the picture. So today I'm going to share some very easy fun recipes that I have learned when I went abroad. <music> So this first one we're going to start off is Jamaican bean stew. Now in this recipe we need kidney beans, garbanzo beans, this is uh, squash, you can use any type of squash, lots and lots of tomatoes and three spices. The spices are coriander seeds, red chili flakes, ginger or garlic, ginger, Baby corn is another ingredient and another thing is coconut milk. Now let me talk about coconut milk when we're adding it. So let's start this. Now in this recipe it calls for some spices but I decided to give it a little Indian touch to it. So I'm going to add some ginger which I'm just going to grate it right into this. And I don't bother to peel it. I just go ahead and grate it. I wash it really well and grate it. And so same with, oops, today all my food is very slippery. And ginger and garlic. Then I add some red chili flakes, depending on how much you want. And this is whole, um, coriander seeds, saute it for a little while and this is a very special a spice technique which is used in India. The spices give a more intense flavor when you roast it in oil. So these are in goes the kidney beans, the garbanzo beans, the tomatoes, baby corn, and one ingredient which really makes a difference in this is these pumpkins. And I want to use big chunks of these pumpkins because this we are going to cook for a long time. If you cook, uh, if you make very small pieces of these pumpkins, it's going to just integrate into the stew. So basically it's a one meal dish. Um, one dish meal, whatever you say. <laughs> okay, that's it. And you add a little bit of water. And 
Now the coconut milk, in this recipe, you need lots of coconut milk. It's a very intense flavor of the spices and the beans and the coconut milk really soothes up. And we all know coconut milk is very high in saturated fat. I tried cooking it without coconut milk and the taste was okay. It wasn't the greatest. So then I decided to experiment with the quantity of coconut milk. And another thing which I found was coconut milk, you get something called as light coconut milk. When it's light coconut milk, it's a little lighter version of the regular one. And the recipe usually calls for a whole can. I decided to use about just one third of this can. I wanted the flavor, but not the heavy fat that goes with it. So I'm just going to add about one third of this. And basically let it cook. Bring it to a big boil, high boil, and add some salt. And cover it. So after about 40 minutes of cooking, this is what it looks like. All the beans have been cooked. And I need to mention one more thing about the beans. When you use the canned beans, remember to rinse it at least three times in clear water. This is what a friend of mine who is a dietitian, Nancy Buguadia, she mentioned that that takes care of a lot of sodium. It reduces a lot of sodium in the beans. So another healthy tip, rinse your beans at least three times in water. And the final thing I'm going to add is some black pepper. The black pepper gives it a nice zing to this recipe. And ready to serve. Now this recipe, you can enjoy it with white rice, brown rice, but I like to serve it with couscous. Now, if you've never tried couscous, it is a very interesting grain, very healthy, and just very easy to make. I like that aspect the best. It's easy and healthy. So I've taken about two cups of uh, this couscous and the directions on the back of the pack will tell you what to do. I'm going to add two cups of water to this. A little bit of salt. And two tablespoons of oil. And I use uh, olive oil for this. And after that, you just cover it with uh, aluminum foil and keep it for 15 minutes. How simple can it be? Here is the couscous, all ready. And the way I like to serve this in a plate is I like to put it at the side and sort of make like a little edging for the stew. Well, I always feel before you eat with your mouth, you eat with your eyes. So make it interesting. And especially if it's new food, take the time to do that. So go ahead and make a nice little boundary here of couscous. So here is a recipe, brimming with nutrition. Very easy. You just added the beans, a couple of spices, nothing much to it.